Hey, it's Mr. E. I got a demo for you today. Uh, something to add on top of your knowledge of pinching, coiling, and slabs. Today, we're gonna learn how to make lids. That's right, something to add on top of your jars to give them a nice finished quality, keep things nice in there tight. That's coming up in three, two, one, here we go. One of the simplest type of lids that we can make is the lid that you see here. This type of lid is super basic. It's composed of the top portion, which we mostly um, understand as the lid, and a flange. And the flange is what locks the lid into place so that when it is set on top of a jar, it stays put. And so the lid typically could be made with a slab and the flange generally is made with a coil. So I'll show you exactly how to make one of those right now. Start with a piece of clay, like this, and what I'm gonna do is flatten it. You can go down, however you need to. Rotate it. Once you have a slab that is nice and flat and even, take your jar or your pot or whatever you're making a lid for and turn it upside down right on top of your slab. And then take something like a pencil uh, and just draw a nice outline around the edge. You want to leave a little bit of space, try to be consistent all the way around. We want to let the lid be a little bit, a little bit bigger than the top of the jar. That'll give us a little bit of wiggle room, especially when um, we're working with the jar that's it's in the leather hard stage and clay that's in the plastic stage. So from here, I just take you know a little credit card tool, hold it straight up, not angled, just straight up. Just cut right on that line. Okay, once that's done, I can tear the outside off remove it my cut was a little on an angle it's actually not much bigger than I than the jar itself um, I I can fix that if I want it to be a little bit bigger I can actually just flatten this out a little bit more in both directions left right and then left right again as you turn it 90 degrees and this should do that should do the trick and just getting it a little bit bigger remember this is gonna shrink all clay shrinks um, this just hasn't shrunk as much as this already has. And this hasn't shrunk much, but it has shrunk since I built it. Um, and so we want this one to be able to catch up. And when it catches up, we don't want it to be too small. Okay, so you can see it comes over the edge a little bit. What we need to do is we need to smooth out our cut marks all the way around. You guys know how to do this. Just smooth it all the way around, okay? Once you have that all the way smooth, then you're gonna need to add a, a ring here, okay? It's gonna be similar to a foot ring. We call it a flange, and it should match the inside of this opening. Take these scraps of clay right here, smush them together, do some sponge CPR on them if I need to. Okay, and then I'm gonna just roll a little coil here. Okay, one of the things is if you make the coil a little bit thicker than you think it needs to be, then you can always trim it down and make it so that it fits your jar just right. This clay is soft, this clay is soft. So I can just kind of eyeball it like this and like figure out where that needs to go. Um, kind of get the right size and then bring my jar into place and kind of see how much I need. Pinch that off. join these together right about here. This is very similar to making a foot ring. 
So we'll put this right there. Let's make sure that it fits right in here still. It does. It's a little snug, but we can always trim that down a little bit if we need to. Sometimes we don't need to because this next step will take care of it. So we've got the, the coil flange and the slab lid. And now I'm going to get it as central on this lid as I can. And then I'll go ahead and attach it on both sides. So I'm just blending it downward all the way around. And my initial uh, movement here as I blend it is not going to uh, be very clean. It's just trying to just trying to keep it contained on here. You see it's stretching a little bit. So sometimes you wanna just kind of skip over a part and then come back to. So go ahead uh, and blend this all the way around um, on the inside and the outside. You can even take a tool like credit card tool or in this case a AAA card and you can just kind of blend it down and scrape off the excess all the way around. This will need to be cleaned up more and when we do clean it up it will look more like more like this okay and then it should fit right on there okay We can always trim this down uh, once the lid and the jar are at the same uh, dryness level or firmness level. You can go ahead and trim it down. Let's just test this one out to see how I did.